These volunteers are putting down roots in their local community. I think it's socialising, it's getting out of the house and it's making a difference. This park at Clarendon Vale in Hobart's outer eastern suburbs is a hot spot for hoons, littering and dumping. Linda Nicholson wants to see more people using the space for recreation, picnics and exercise. We attract people to come and use the areas, you know, in inappropriate ways, sort of not so appropriate. Clarendon Vale and neighbouring suburb Rokeby were developed in the 1970s for public housing. They've historically been home to entrenched disadvantage and high rates of crime. The broader Clarence Plains area is slowly shaking that stigma as home buyers have increasingly been attracted to its more affordable housing. Residential areas at Oak Downs and Glebe Hill were developed over the past two decades. Now Clarence Heights, Paranville and Howrah Gardens are being added. Dominic Carter bought a house and land package with his brother in 2019 and moved in this year. We paid 400000 um, if we did it now, it would cost us 650 minimum. The Clarence Council is developing a master plan to guide future development, including increasing housing density in some areas. We've had over 600 new development applications approved in the area over the last year. But the number of social housing properties has remained fairly stagnant at around 500. With the rising costs of, of living across the, the um, state, sometimes we see that families that may not have needed to access social housing before are certainly accessing it now. We really need to be thinking about social and affordable housing as part of uh, you know, every development that we do. And you know, we'd like to see a level of 10 to 15%. Ensuring everyone can feel at home. Selena Ross, ABC News.